So right now, guys, I have a 20 hat order that I'm about to knock out on my, uh, the four heads right here. I'm not gonna use a 1501. I'm just gonna use these two right here. 20 hats should not be, take long at all. And I am maintaining maximum efficiency because I am doing some DTFs on the other side of the studio right here. So as you're watching this video, I'm recording another video in which I put the Prestige A3 Plus R to run um, to run uh, 10, 10, 10 uh, DTFs. All right, so that's what we're doing right now, guys. And I'm gonna knock out this client's job real fast, maintaining maximum efficiency. My assistant, Loveland, is out for the week. So it's just me here in the studio by myself, handling business. And, you know, I gotta admit, um, it's nice to have company, but it's also nice to have the studio all to myself um, every now and then. All right, so I'm enjoying my time alone and I'm just gonna knock this job out and I'm gonna be done for today. I still wanna go to the gym later on today because I didn't get to go to the gym earlier today because um, I had to do a training. So, okay, where'd she put my, okay, here they are. Grab my cap frames right here. She put them all in one container, which is smart thinking. You know, if, if having an employee, guys, is, is very, very helpful in the business. I don't care what business you're in. Um, the amount of things that you can accomplish and organize, it's so much worth the money. And um, this place, I, I notice a huge difference just having her around and uh, the uh, progress that I've made since I've had her. So, Loveland, shouts out to you. I appreciate you. I haven't had her on a vlog yet because she doesn't like to be in front of the camera, which is perfectly fine with me, but we're gonna get her on camera just to say hi to you guys, at least once, maybe twice a week, maybe. I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm asking too much, maybe I'm pushing it, but you know, hey, we are a YouTube channel, so we get on camera, right? So yeah, let me hoop these hats up and get it popping. Get it popping. The first one that is centered up that is centered up let me go over here a little bit turn the light on enter brewery status do a quick trace boom there we go cooking on gas and start that sucker up bam all right next and that's efficiency that is efficiency bts in the other room working on a 20 hat job in this room, knocking it out. Four at a time, be done in no time. And by the time I'm done this, I'm gonna go check on my um, DTFs in a little second, just to make sure everything is going smooth over there because this is only my second time running a DTF printer with the uh, Sizemo A13 attached to it. So I'm gonna keep on checking on it all the time. It's always good to check on stuff and make sure stuff is running smooth your embroideries as well as your DTFs and everything in the shop but it's nice to know that you can you know have some type of freedom moving around a little bit and while stuff gets done in the other room it's nice to know that and so that's what it's all about efficiency all right boom get that over here oh wait let me switch it over here to the hat frame Design set hat, boom, okay, bam, bam, there we go. Nice, nicely, 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 nice tea like iced tea. All right, knocking it out, so I'm knocking it out. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. Looking good. And these, I think, are kind of short, so they're going to get done pretty fast. All right. Put on this next two. I'm going to have this stuff done in no time. After I put on this next two, I'm going to go check on the DTF printer just to see what it's doing. You know what I mean? It's not quite set it and forget it yet, but we good. We get to go. We're in the mix. Keeping these hats properly. 
and I feel like I'm getting so much more done. Doing things this way. Perfecto. Let's go on the perfecto. Cooking on gas. Let's soup up the next batch. Keep this thing moving. And groovy. Four going, soup up the next four. And that's how we get that workflow popping. Just want to show you guys my workflow. It, now, it would help to have Loveland in here to help poop hats. But as things are going, I don't think it will matter because it doesn't matter if hats are hooped if the machine's not ready to go. All right, so. Yeah, I think I can knock this out by myself. It's not gonna matter. All right, put that right there. Got this next one. Boom, boom. Take all this stuff off of it. Unravel all that. Undo the back. Under here. And get the thing going, I can do it. This should have been a live video. I should have went live doing this, but it's okay. Right. If you are in the market to buy a Racoma MT1501, you know what to do. Hit my affiliate link up for MT2002-8S. Hit my affiliate link up in the comments in the description, video description down below. You see how we're moving. Guys, you know what I like to say now. It all boils down to how much are you willing to pay to embroider the same designs. You got people hopping from machine brand to machine brand when all that really matters is use the equipment that you have to make the money that you want. Brands don't matter. What matters is let's all get to this money. Let's all make some money. I got Racomas. I love them. They work for me. I recommend them for you. But, you know, you want to go with something else it doesn't really matter what i'm telling you guys is get to the bag doesn't matter what machine you have as long as you get into the bag but i encourage you to use my affiliate link if you decide to go with lacoma but like i said it all boils down to how much money are you willing to pay how much money do you want to pay to embroider the same exact design because at the end of the day, if we're both importing the same design, you're on your $40,000 machine and I'm on my $16,000 machine. You can't charge, I'm charging the same price. Mine's gonna look just as good as yours. Nobody's gonna know the difference. So, be smart. We're supposed to be smart with our finances, all right? It doesn't make sense. If it doesn't make sense, then it doesn't make sense. 
Don't make dollars if it don't make sense. All right, so right now, I got the next four hats hooked up. So I'm gonna go over to the next room and check the status of my DTF prints. All right, let's go check it. All right, guys, just as I thought, good, good, good. We're maintaining good efficiency. This batch right here is done, right? Not this batch, but okay, what happened here? Okay, 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 I see what happened. Okay, okay, okay. It's not quite done. I think we ran out of thread, so that's okay. I'm going to trim right here. I'm gonna press the trim button. Actually, I see what happened. Ran out of bobbin thread on this one. All right, no sweat, no big deal. Yep, this bobbin thread is out. So let me change that bobbin thread and we're right at the end of this design right here. And this one's about done. So, four at a time, a few minutes each. Still knocking this job out in no time with four heads. All right, Put, carefully place that back in here. And then I'm gonna rewind the design just a tad. Click both switches so both of them start right away. And press start. Boom, there we go. Efficiency, efficiency! And now both of them are pretty much gonna finish at the same time. So in the meantime, because I'm about to hoop up put two more on there. I'm going to start hooking up the next hat. That's how you keep this thing going. Meanwhile, if I didn't have to go over and check on a DTF machine, I would have had a few more hats hooped. But now that's done. So I'm going to take those off and put on the next batch. All right. Got this done right here. So we're going to throw that in the done pile. And put this over here. Meanwhile, the ones behind me are finished too. So, you know what I mean? That's four hats done already. All right, done pile over here. Over here, boom, boom. Now what's gonna happen is this bobbin thread is gonna uh, be done in a second. So, start over here, turn over here. Nobody said it was gonna be easy. It is hard work knocking these order out, orders out. It is hard work, it's not easy. You would think it'd be easy money, but it ain't. So if y'all wanna get on, in on the embroidery business, I'm showing this to you guys so you guys know what to expect in case you're thinking that this is a walk in the park. It's not exactly walk in the park. All right? But what you're gonna what you're gonna try to do is convert your business from I'm gonna scoot this over just a little bit. Convert your business from you working your business to um, employing somebody else so that your business can grow. And that's what I'm trying to do right now, okay? So I'm gonna start this one up, because it's ready to go. All right. And there we go, boom. All right, hoop up the next batch. So on and so forth. And you don't stop. Uh. And you don't stop. Uh. And you don't quit. Uh. four done, about to have four more done, efficiency, efficiency bro, 
You guys seeing the Rakumas go. People said they wanted to see it go. I had a training today where I helped somebody who's had their MT-1501 for, um, I think she said she had it for, I don't know, a few months now, and she hasn't done anything with it, so glad to help her out. Very, very competent individual. Very, very competent, just to make sure I got that across. Not incompetent, very competent individual. And that right there is 10 hats right there, so I'm going to the next 10. Starting with the next 10 right here. So this, this order is going to be done literally 20 hats. And when you're using two two heads and the design is not that complicated, just one color, bro, money in the bank. All right. No time at all. Money in the bank. Machine stop when the bobbin thread needs to be changed. That's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. These little foam hats are nothing to embroider. Very, very easy to embroider. You gotta make sure you hoop them properly and you're good to go. This one wants to give me problems. You gotta get this right in the groove right here. You don't want no slipping while we're embroidering. That's cool. This one wants to act, act up, but it's cool. It'll embroider fine. And if it doesn't, Whenever I do this stuff, I always, um, I always get extra hats. So I got four extra hats just in case I mess one up or I mess two up or I mess three up. I can afford, I allow myself some room for error. Every time I do somebody's job, I order a few extra hats just in case I mess one, two, three, or four up. And in most cases, I don't mess up very much, very many of them at all. In most cases, the person ends up with a free extra hat or a free extra two hats, you know what I mean? So always allow yourself some extras just in case, you know, something goes wrong while you're embroidering, all right? So now I got the next four hooped up. I'm gonna keep on going to hoop up two more. This one is broken right here. This tab right here is broken. It just straight came off, so. This one's no good. I don't know how that happened. I'm assuming that, that came from the used machine, that used machine right there when I got that machine. So, yeah. All right, so now we only got two, four, six, eight hats left, you know. I anticipate this being done. Not even an hour. I have all these done if I keep on rolling like this. All right. It's time for me to go check on my DTFs right now. Every couple minutes, I want to check on it. You know what I mean? Go check on that. Let's see what's going on. See how that is behaving. One more hat. And I'll go check on it. So I'm just giving you guys perspective. It's already been an hour and we're only printing up 10 DTF. So as you guys can see, the Prestige A3 Plus R is a little bit slow. But like I said, the key is you can multitask. You can do other things, whether it be Watching your kids, watching TV, talking on the phone, working on the other business like I am right now. Being able to multitask is a game changer versus versus not being able to multitask, right? Not being able to multitask is is not the move, right? Slide that over, lock that in place, good to go. Let's check on the ETFs. So everybody's done over here. 
We are all complete. All the hats are done on this side. Not all the hats are done, not the whole job, but I'm saying this batch right here is done on both machines just that fast as I was over here shooting that last part of the video, the next part of the video. All right, so let's load up the next batch right here and get it going. And already that's eight hats down, you know, in no time. When you're running two heads at the same time, man, I'm telling you guys, it's killer. All right, swap to the other side. Finish hats over here. Put this in here. Boom. There we go. All right. Boom. Slide that hoop over here. Boom. Slide this in here. Like so. Boom. Pull this. For some reason, this one don't want to. I'm gonna act up, put that behind there, just my peace of mind. I'm gonna start it up, make sure this is secure. There we go. All right, let's hoop up two more hats, and then we'll go make our rounds. Always checking on the GPS channel, always, always. Always checking on DTF printer. Don't ever get too comfortable because as soon as you get comfortable, something will go wrong, all right? So always check on your equipment. Always, even though if you think you got it, with the exception of these Lacoma MT1501s right here. I know I got this, so I don't gotta check on nothing. <laughs> Just kidding. Always check on your stuff. All right. There we go. Um, the center right there. All right. To it we got eight hats done 9 10 11 12 that's 12 hats done we're on the other side of the job now we are on the other side of the job the other side of the job means we are pretty much done the job and we are finishing up the last bit of the job that's that's what we're on the other side means so i'm on the other side of the job all right boom I and mean, i like the way i did it before where i had two more let me just keep that consistent. But right now, the machine, the DTF machine, look, I got four more hats over here to, to, to hoop. Four more hats. Everything else is, man, let me tell you something, man. Running two machines at the same time. Efficiency! Efficiency! And I just wanted to do this video to show you guys what you can do while your DTF printer is running. So, you're, even though the DTF printer takes a long time to print, you're still staying productive and you're still making money from doing other things. So, does it really matter that it doesn't print that fast? Yeah, arguably but not if you can do other things. You know what I mean? Not if you can do other things. In my opinion, I don't know. So now, I only got two more left over there to hoop up. I got two, I got actually one more hoop right here. So I gotta wait, because that other one is broken. All right, so I'm just line that up, make sure it's, boom. There we go. We got three on the ground and three cooking. All right, let's go. Check. It's always nice when everything is going according to plan. 
And guys, we only have one more hat over here. Let me prepare it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hats on the floor that's already hooped up. And this is about to be done. One more hat to hoop up, and this job is pretty much done. If this thing right here wasn't broken, then I'd be able to hoop this hat, but this flat bill part right here broke off. I don't know how it broke off, but it's actually not broken. The screw came off, so maybe if I could find that other screw, it dropped right here. And here's this screw. Oh, you know what? I think it, I think another one of these screws is in my toolkit. So let me find something and put that back on so I can still use this. All right, cool. So yeah, let me, these ones is done right here. So let me reload. All right, finish hat. Oh, wrong thing. Finish hat over here, hoop over here, hat over here, hat in there. Getting that good old efficiency. So just imagine if you were getting a lot of hat orders, this is the way you would knock them out. You got your machines tuned up to the max and just knocking them out one by one. $300 per hat order, knocking them out. Let's go. Let's go. Knocking them out. Who's next? Who's next? What's next? All right. Last one. Hook this up. And then this order is pretty much done. Last hat right here. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So, we got three over here, three over here, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna run two, run two, and then we're gonna take these last two and run over here or over here, it don't matter. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Let's go check on the GTF one. almost done right here so looking good check my microphone check right. looking good looking good we're in good shape guys if you want some DTFs done hit me up Just email me a design I give you guys nice price I'm selling DTFs in quantities of 10 I am not doing um, one or two DTFs, quantities of 10, all right? Quantities of 10 only, all right? So if you want your DTFs, hit me up. I got you, got you, got you, got you. All right, last two runs and we are done. So that tells you alone why embroidery is so valuable and runs circles around every other printing method and every other garment decorating method. Because if you're doing something simple as hats, it's perceived such a high value, you get such a high return on it because it's embroidered versus everything else. Those DTFs, I can only sell them for like $9 each. If I make a shirt, I guess you can sell a shirt for like 25 or something like this, but yeah, I could put the last two on here, but this is about to be done. But you know, I love it. Now it's time to clean up those hats in there, put the little paper things back in the back in the front of them right here, and neaten up the front. Design done. Job done. One more run to go, and that's efficiency, guys. All right, so this one was done first, so we're gonna go ahead and put the last two on here. And just like that, 20 hats is pretty much done once this is loaded and on here. 
Hold on. That one thread just keeps on coming out of the white on this specific, this specific uh, um, thing right here. Let me put these over here. Put these away nice and neat. Like Loveland had them. We finished the last one over here. We done, baby. When it's an even number, just use your two heads. If it's an odd number, you can use all five heads. All right. Good to go. Go check on the DCS. Yes, sir. We are done with this order, sir, on the last part of that, sir. All right. Done with all these hats. I can put on some flats and get to that. Doing the last, the last line of that. Easy peasy. Mice and ease. All right, so. Let me bring these over here so I can start straightening these up. Neatening this up a little bit. Oh, what we got here. Oh. Finally got a thread break. Look at that. On the old school machine. Got a little thread break right there. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna hit the cut button. Just when you thought it was safe. Nothing ever goes smooth. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Damn, I'm not gonna adjust anything. I'm just gonna put it back in border. I want it just a little bit. That's what I do. Yank that right off. As soon as the machine embroiders over top of it. Alright. Okay. And embroider that. Go on the other side. TH and then that's done. Alright, but for right now, I'm going to start ripping this off. Ripping these off. And throwing them away. Ripping these off. And putting these back inside. Even though that part's done, this part isn't. Still gotta dress the hats back up. And put them in a the bag. Alright. One thing at a time, you dress the hats. Then after I dress the hats. Might as well trim them right now, one, one time, same time. Alright. Looking good. Alright. And those are done. And we're done 20 hats. Finito. Twenty hat soles. It's time for me to bag these things up and take them to my clients. Cause we are all done. We had a very productive day today. We did a consultation this morning. We printed up some DTFs, shot two videos. Not only did we shoot two videos, but we also got done a nice order for DTFs, as well as these embroidered hats. So we had a very, very productive day. 
very, very productive day. And I was very, very efficient today with what I got done in the way I did it. Very good day. Wouldn't you say? I would say. Very good day. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys. Catch you on the next one. Time to get out of here. It's late. Baby, sweet kiss, sweet kiss, sweet kiss.